could you imagine a Spanish-speaking person tuning in a Bellator fight for the first time and seeing that Eddie Alvarez was a lucha libre? So anyone who didn't know anything about mixed martial arts would say that at one time in Eddie Alvarez's life, he was bouncing off of ropes, wearing spandex, a mask with tassels coming out the ends of it. Holy cow, Toby Yamada slapped that triangle choke on quick on Jorge Masvidal. He had a better chance of submitting to all before submitting that choke before he got choked out unconscious. I've been doing comedy at a place called The Barking Dog, which is right next to a place called The Fat Cat in Modesto, and there at Fat Cat they've been hosting pancreation fights. And I asked one of the uh, security guards, I was like, hey, what do people feel about the pancreation rules? No shots or blows to the face. And they were like, oh, well, they don't get it. And I was like, well, I get it, because I've dated girls that have adopted the pancreation rules. No shots and no blows to the face. When I was going to my gig at the Barking Dog, I was looking for parking in downtown Modesto, and I was going down an alley, and I swear to gosh, Dan Freeman came right in front of my truck, and I almost hit him. It would have been tragic, because that dude would have put a dent the size of Texas in front of my truck. I don't want to go grander from New Jersey, but separated at birth, Benji Raddick and Kane from WWF. So, I saw the movie Never Surrender with a lot of the UFC fighters in it, and my review? I'd rather listen to Corey Hart's Never Surrender for 90 minutes as opposed to watch this movie again.